idea the syllabus of your destiny is on your head hear me the syllabus of your destiny is on your head let me share a little bit with you on what I titled mystery of the head oh it's a mystery of the head When God wanted to form man, the first thing he did was to start from the head and not the leg. The first place God took time to program and packaged was your head. That's why 90% of your sense organs are on the head side. So, the first place God hand touch was your head. Not your shoulder. Not your hand. Not your leg. The first place the hand of God touch was your head. And the reason why the hand of God touch your head it is because you are created as a being to be in head. Watch this. On your head, what are the things you can find? Leave the neck. What are the things you can find on your head? The eye, the nose, the mouth, the ear, and what? And the hair. How many sense organs do we have? Five. And so, can you mention them for me? Eh? What? The tongue. For what? For test. Okay? And where is he found? On the head. Ah, okay, which one? The nose. For perception. Where is he found? Eh? The head. Which one? The ear. And what is it for? For hearing, where is he found? The head. Which other one? The eye. And what is he for? For seeing. Where is he found? The eye. The head. Which other one? Eh? The tongue. Eh? The tongue. For test. Where is he found? The the head. So everything that everything apart from the hands for feelings and the rest 95 percent of everything that regulates your life is stationed on the head and that is why if you don't know how to control your head if you don't know where you lay your head you will not land well because where you put your head to enter that is where all your body follow hear this your head is responsible for the eye is responsible for the ear is responsible for so many things so where God started with you God started with your head Am I communicating? I prophesy every power fighting your life. I prophesy they scatter by please don't go outside, go and stay inside. Stay inside, no movement. Please, I will tell those of you who don't have water what you are going to do. Just sit down and don't miss it. Please, hear this. You need to understand that your head controls everything. So the first thing God did was to deal with your head. So the first thing God touched was your head. The impartation of your life started with your head. Number two, your head carried the syllabus that run your life. Every program I mean that runs your life is on your head. Can I prophesy? You will not stop halfway. I see you achieving purpose in life. I thought you were shouting that one well. 
shout it like thunder shout it like thunder shout it like thunder i open you to greatness 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 shout that amen like thunder three times number two or is it number three number three another mystery about your head is that when you were coming to this war you came with your head are you hearing what i'm saying you came with your head because everything everything about your life is controlled by your head and that's why medical doctors will tell you the backup of the brain is the backup of every part of the body the reason why i do my hands like this is because the brain is sending message to my hands move your hands am i communicating so here it is when you are coming to this war 90 percent of any child that come through the normal process come with your head am i communicating and the reason is because i am coming with my head so that my hand will obey my leg will obey my mouth will obey because of the headship of the head am i communicating i prophesy from today Today you will rule every part. I said you will rule every part. I thought you were shouting that one well. Hear this when the power of darkness hits your head, I mean hits your hand, or sickness hits any part of your body. If your head disagree with it, it cannot stand. You are not getting what I'm saying. I need you to understand the mystery of the head. For the devil to capture any individual, he has to manipulate manipulate your mind if you can manipulate your mind then your hand will agree then your leg will agree and that is why the bible said let the weak say they are strong it is not just overnight you need to understand whenever your head whenever your head say i refuse to be paralyzed the leg will carry itself you need to understand that before your stomach begin to turn you upside down it must first take permission from your brain and when your brain condenses and say this guy your stomach is heavy then the program goes back to the stomach that they had as giving permission for the stomach to malfunction hear this the ability to control your mind is the ability to control your destiny that's why in romans chapter 12 he said in verse two, verse one and two be a transformed by the renewing of thy mind your mind has to be renewed every day and night your mind has to be renewed deuteronomy 28 let's talk let's look at this number what number what number what number four another mystery is called the headship of the head determine 28 verse 13 verse 13 verse 13 he said he said he said and i shall make thee the head and not the tail the making of your life is not with your certificate the making of your life is not with your qualification the making of your life is not with the money you think you have here it is that's why somebody have phd and is still poor because the head has not been made you need to understand just as a car is made that is how god have to make you the head and the making of the head is the thinking faculty and the ability to to process headship am i talking to somebody here for the sisters you can make your hair and not make your head for the brothers you can bob your hair and your head is not make the hair is not the head the hair is a is a is a is a sentence that your hair has capacity 
capacity to produce. Uh, anytime your hair grow, your head is telling you that I can manufacture new idea. I can uh, spontaneously bring new things that can put you on a top. And God said, I will make you the head. Uh, listen to me. How does God make you the head? The capacity to reason. The capacity to think through, to break through. If you are not productive in your mind, you cannot be the head. So you need to understand. I am taking some of you to a spiritual theater. We are performing spiritual surgical operation on your head. You have to think through. Your head has to be repaired. Your head has to be repaired. I don't know who touched your head and made you small. But can I talk to somebody here? Ah! Are you hearing me? Joshua in the Bible did not have two heads. He had one head. Am I talking to somebody? Esther did not have two heads. Yeah, she had one head. Ah, Joseph did not have two heads. I mean, he has one head. Joshua Igila does not have two heads. He has one head. Can I talk to somebody here? Any multi billionaire you know, they don't have two heads. This amount of financial dominion and I came to provoke the owner of this head as you lift up your head like the arms of the unicorn your destiny shall be lifted up are you hearing what I'm saying I say your destiny shall be lifted up sit down Shukoparanda was at fire before I go further, how do you repair your head? <laughs> Let me show you. Number one, eliminate toxic thoughts. There are thoughts that reduces the performance of the brain, both physically and spiritually. Toxic thought. There are certain thoughts that breaks you down. Make you know you will not be able to perform well whenever you are depressed look at what happens to you number two learn to lay hand on your head with your own hands some of you don't know that laying hand on your head with your own hand you are giving your head instruction ha my head carry me they go anywhere better they carry me they go not your leg your leg we only listen to the instruction of the head are you hearing me you say my father the owner of this head joshua e Gilla, you are the owner of this head anywhere your destiny and your glory is enter the owner of this head you will not stay in the pit the owner of this head you will not be a slave the owner of this head you will not beg for bread the owner of this head you will rule in the midst of your enemy the owner of this head you will wear crown the owner of this head you are not a servant you are made to be served am i talking you don't get it are you hearing me you have, you, you don't touch your head you, do, you are not touching the head oh kamarana marashata la kabarada la kabarada dashata la kabarada dadata I don't mean to be sarcastic to sisters but sisters sometimes don't touch don't touch the Brazilian hair touch your forehead because you are touching another person hair am I talking here sometimes you touch your forehead and say the owner of this hair because sometimes you have been praying and we pour oil on somebody's head and the person hair that you are wearing is prospering but you your head has not touched the oil can I talk? Oh Lord, my head, my destiny, my head, my destiny. Is this too heavy? I said, What? How to repair your head? You touch it, you speak to it. 
you give it command you issue command owner of this head you will not die at 56 you will not die at 60 you will not die at 70 long life is your portion the owner of this head uh, you give it direction owner of this head you will build houses uh, you will not miss heaven and fire is not your portion owner of this head you'll be obedient to the word of god owner of this head this year you will marry in the find that you find that a good thing owner of this head anyone can be mentioning your name shall fall for your sake Hey, hey, let your issue command. In one minute, can you say that to your head? You are not saying it well. Say it. Talk to the head. Oh, talk to the head. Lako manana. Eko parash. The way that some of you are talking, you are not hearing command. Oh, in Jesus name. Sit down. Number three. How do you repair your head? You upgrade it with knowledge, intelligence, and wisdom. Get books that will inspire you. Hear things that they you see, your mind want to be want to be educated. Your mind longs for knowledge. Anytime you are dull, your life will be dull. Seek knowledge. Every day of your life, learn one thing that this brain has not known. The advancement of your mind and thinking capacity is the mobility of your destiny. Ah, whatever you carry here will replicate itself in your life. The height of a man does not describe his destiny. It is what he carries here that describes his destiny. The skin color of a man does not describe his destiny. You can be white, you can be purple, you can be black. That does not describe. You cannot discover and describe the content of a man by his skin color. Ladies and gentlemen, the brain is a brain, and you need to seek, pursue knowledge, pursue wisdom, upgrade your mind. Listen to me, education is very important. That is why you are speaking as a result of what you have learned. And listen to me, the more you upgrade yourself, the more you move forward in life. <laughs> listen to me you can be loaded and because you don't know you can be a slave have you seen people not well dressed but when they talk you think they have the whole world their mind is reset the resetting of your mind will determine how you carry yourself are you getting what I'm saying? Have you seen ladies very beautiful but very timid? They feel as if they are not important. They feel that they are not good looking because their mind has been put on pause. People are not going to treat you by how you appear alone. They are going to treat you by the progressive capacity of your mind. Stop thinking small. You can't go big if your mind has not accommodated your bigness. Your mind must accommodate the bigness before you become big. 
Oh, you are not getting me. <laughs> you can't you can fly a plane if your mind has not agreed that you can fly a plane. In this small thing. Church, 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 church. Church. You know why the church is not rich? Because our mind believes that holiness is without money. As long as you don't have money, you are going to heaven. Don't you see how we are attacking one another? Once somebody is rich among us, we are attacking. The richest man in Africa is not a Christian. So what is wrong with you? <laughs> that is the problem. The richest man in Africa is not a Christian. The mind has agreed. I'm in charge. You are busy fighting one. I, 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 all this prosperity message, I don't like it. Oh, I know you don't like it. But you are going to work to look for money. Stop looking for money. Stay at home. Why are you looking for money? If you know you don't like prosperity message and you don't like money, don't work. Stay at home. And let us see how you will eat. This pretense. Pretense. I don't, I, I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. I'm going to heaven. But you have twenty thousand dollars in your in your bank account. Sell it. Don't touch money. Don't touch money. And we want to see you like John the Baptist. Go into the forest. Be eating honey and locusts. We will believe you. As long as you are wearing better cloth, you are a pretender. The most hypocrisy in the church is that our mind has not accommodate reasonable. We are not thinking big. Any small thing, juju, voodoo, demon, darkness, power of darkness, manipulation. The reason is that what is normal to people in the world is abnormal to us. You cannot deliver a man that his mind is captured. Though. He will fall under the anointing 20 times. As long as that in parkour, he had. See, they carry that thinking. He go rise up again and go back to that demon. The greatest deliverance is the deliverance by knowledge. John 8, 32. Then you shall know the truth. The knowledge of the truth shall make you free. You need to understand that we can lay our hand, our leg on you. If your mind is not sanitized, it's exercising futility. How do you repair? <laughs> Grab things. Uh -huh. Number four. How do you repair your mind? <laughs> Meet people with improved mind, improved head. <laughs> One good head that meets a bad head can repair the bad head. Are you hearing me? Show me your friend. I will tell you who you are. If all your friends are Rastafarian, that is why you cannot speak anything more than Rastafaria. Show me. There are some of you, you fight those who challenge your intelligent capacity and they are more improved. Hear this. Look for people who are better than you. Because when they become better than you, they challenge you and stimulate your capacity and the potential inside you advance. Do you repair your head? Meet a man of God to anoint your head. <laughs> Don't use anything on your head, anyhow. Don't allow anybody, anyhow, to touch your head. Some of you, everybody is the one touching your head. You don't have a particular saloonist that will help you. Everybody is touching your head. Your head has become football. They are playing calo calo with your head. You carry your head, go your pump. Carry a drunkard will put your head. Everybody is touching your head. 
You can enter anywhere, even when, if anywhere, whether they, whether the saloon, there's beer polo, they put the thing, the guy is smelling alcohol and he's barbing your head. You don't know that who touches your head programs your head. Hear this. Your head and your hand, they are brothers and sisters. They are assorted twins. Psalm 23 verse 5 said, Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointed my head. When my head is anointed, then the cup is in my hand. Then it will run over. When my head is anointed, my cup run over. So hear this. Who touches your head will determine the outflow of your hands. My head, my who touches your head will determine the heart flow on your head. Some touching of your head is suppression. It's not only a man of God that touches your head. Where you carry your head to, the saloon you carry your head to is also a programming on your head. The house you enter with your head. Where you sleep with your head. Some of you, you are sleeping. There's cobwebs everywhere in the room and you think it is normal. You are not treating your head well. You are disrespecting what is controlling your life. Your pillow is so dirty. Smelly. Then you carry this head and put on the pillow. That pillow, you have not changed it for five years. How will your dream change? That pillow, I'm, I wish, oh God, don't worry, next week I will show you some scriptures about pillow. Is it in the scripture? That pillow has not been changed for five years. You just carry your head, enter the house, bam, you are disrespecting the head and you think you can think productively. <laughs> oh, you don't know. Oh. Why do you change your shoe? It's to honor your leg. Why do you change your stocking? It's to honor your leg. The honor you give to the head is where you lay your head, the pillow you put your head, the environment you put your head, and who style your head. I'm telling you deep things. Anybody don't see you on the way, we touch your head. Mala Meshai. Nya, nya, nya. He touched your head with we, we shy. Nya, 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 nya. The hooker. Nya, 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 nya. You don't have honor for your head. You are pricing how to barb your hair. You enter saloon. You say, can you reduce it? Can you reduce it? To tell? You are disrespecting the head. If you don't have money, stay at home. Treat your head with honor. You don't price the head of a king. Oh God, I'm teaching you something. You don't price the head of a king. You give the barber the money he deserves. If you don't have the money, don't bab. I'm showing you something. You look for cheap people. Even though you are looking for a cheap salonist, can you keep one? It must not be every dick and hurry that should touch your head. I'm showing you something you have not seen, isn't it? No, you don't know why some of us are very... You just go anywhere, anywhere you enter. You are traveling from Lagos and you get to Lokoja. You just say, let me enter here. That you don't know where you carry your trouble from. Some of you, your problem is not village. There are people whose hands are already coarse. If they touch anything, the thing is coarse. I'm showing you something. You don't know why you are not married. Anyhow. I'm sorry, I have to tell you this. Sisters, once in a blue moon, remove that hair and allow your natural hair to blow. And pray with your natural hair. Then allow priests to touch them. And let water touch the natural hair. And anoint the natural hair with oil. And declare and kabash, makado, ekato, ikala, ela, zobra, elato, ekata, ikoshi, reko, egadi, yaga, 
edo seka ilada ekuda elada koto ya ibrako sataya are you hearing what i'm saying hey. is this too deep my head my destiny my head my destiny makwata makwata you are not hearing me makwata makwata jesus is lord makwata makwata jesus ibabo skata hey hey do i have some champions here when i say makwata makwata you say jesus is lord when i say ibabo you say skata makwata makwata jesus is lord ibabo skata hey 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 Ah, can I preach here? That is why Jesus is called Nazareth. And Samson was called Nazareth. Let me talk to you about the Nazareth. In Judges 16:25 downward, you need to understand the mystery of the Nazareth. The Nazareth means no razor must touch their head. That is a Nazareth. A razor must not touch your head. Because as a Nazareth, you are a deliverer. You are the firstborn, a first fruit. You are the head. You are a chief cornerstone. It means lordship, headship. It means directorship, management, CEO. It means in charge, to discharge. It means to be on top of the matter. It means dominion or top. Authority, territorial commander. It means power. It means exousia. It means supernatural imposition. It means enlargement, unstoppable advancement. Can I help somebody here? Sit down. Can I talk here? Because they were Nazareth, a razor should not touch their head. Ah. When I begin to study the angel appear to the mother of Samson and said the guy must not take wine he must not be given to alcohol because on no circumstance must he drink and lose control of his headship because wine will make you not to be in charge and as a Nazareth no razor nobody should touch his head because he's in charge follow me the power of every Nazareth is on their head so if you tell me when Jesus was alive where his power was located not the hand his head that's why you will never hear any woman anybody bob his hair you will never hear of any barber touching his hair the only time a woman touched the hair it was to salute the hair with expensive perfume and anointing oil can i teach so the devil was looking for the area of his power and so they got through got through and as a result of that they took a tongue ah, chuku chuku. they placed it on his head because if we can chuck his head ah, and he bleeds and that's how the holy way he can die something if we can bob your hair then you lose your power and you no longer become a nazareth can i preach it here to me i feel apart from jesus giving up the ghost the tongue that was placed on his head was to talk his messiah sheep and nazareth sheep can i talk here can i preach here am i talking to somebody here ah the 
devil can play with my leg he can't get me he can cut my fingers he can't get me he can backstab me he can't get me but if he toys with my head he can get me don't allow him to toy with your head why you hear that gossip it's because they have tried to touch your leg and hand touch your fingers they could not capture you they know if they manipulate your head whenever you are depressed you are taking wine because depression depresses the capacity of the head can I round it up I have a lot to say but let me give you this one <laughs> Samson told her all the lies he could tell her as long as nobody touched the hair the rope were cutting off the devil tried to know the secret of Jesus he did not so hear me because he doesn't know the location of the power he used that the word stroke of pain all over the body trying to find the location of the power and as he could not get it he pierced the nail to the heart he pierced the nail to the leg he pierced the tongue to the head because he doesn't want to miss it Delilah told them, watch this. I will show you something now. And then they cut his hair. And the Bible says, Samson wished not that the power of God has left him. So, power of a Messiah is attached to his head. If your head is captured, you can't fight the enemy. Then watch this. They block the eyes of something, thinking that is where his power is. Even despite the fact he was vulnerable now, they were still afraid of him. Now watch this. Why something started praying? He prayed, Lord, give me one more time for a regeneration of my head. They must have taken your head, but we regenerate it again. Forget about the hair. Let's talk about the thing that produces the hair. <laughs> In biology, we have the white blood cell and the red blood cell. There are certain chemicals they put when they want to separate the blood the white blood cell and get and from the black blood the, the red blood cell the red blood cell when they separate it you see certain liquid substance that look a little bit white but not really white because it's not everybody that need the red blood cell so when we are talking about blood donation some it can even just be the plasma which is called the pilot that people need and that plasma or so is one of the things that makes the hair to generate hear this when the enemy capture your ability to reproduce which is your thinking faculty you are finished immediately something head started growing again hear what something said he asked for a little lad can you lead me to the pillars and there were two pillars that was holding the whole building and there were three thousand men at that podium because when your head regenerates you go to the chief enemies Samson went to the chief enemies uh, and they were still laughing he put his two 
two hands on the major pillar. Listen to me. When enemies are fighting you, you don't need to fight their brothers and their servants. When you capture their chief enemy, you have finished them. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? If you have an artillery of enemy fighting you, if you pick up their headmaster, the whole camp will be confused. This night, I pick up all the witch headmasters. I kill them off your life. The louder the amen, the quicker a miracle. Am I talking to somebody here? Shot fire three times. Sit up. Give you five things and then we'll pray. How do I know that my head has been treated? Number one, I receive fame without publicity. When your head is treated, everybody talk about you. Whether positively or negatively, they want to mention your name in order to be relevant. No, see, they don't treat your head. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? How do I know my head is treated? The kind of enemy fighting me, number two. When the enemies are big, big ones, know that you are bigger than them. Enemies is the revealer of your destiny. When you see the people fighting you, you now know who you are. How do I know my head has been treated by the amount of Malachi that enter my hand? Malachi is money. Nakusha kaparia. When you begin to see money flow and it they flow, it they flow, it means say, hey, the disease where they did there, it don't clear. You, know, you begin to see hey, on Monday you get, on Tuesday you get, huh? this month you add one million, the other month you have two million. The thing don't they receive treatment. People that are not giving you before are beginning to give you. Men know they call you, but all of a sudden they begin to disturb you. Your head don't they treat, it don't they receive treatment. Huh? Nobody bless you as a pastor but all of a sudden the most stingy one is giving you money telling you a uh, uh, man of god uh, you know this one even though everybody they bless you don't go ever give and you now see the person bring money to say take man of god just no say treatment they go on how do you know that your head is treated you begin to see big men getting interested in you you say you are a small man but your cycle is changing you are not entering into bigger cycle you know say ha ah, my head carry me they go anywhere where better day carry me they go you see yourself leave one room you land there for duplex now your head don't need to carry you enter you see yourself leave pure water car you know they drive mess this you they drive new one now your head they carry you they enter now your head they carry you they enter sometimes when your head carry electrical fire of the holy ghost you know what happens it will chase some people away out of your life the head will fight it's called the godhead the lord your head will begin to fight you will meet some people your spirit will be disagreeing they will see you they will begin to fight you it is your head changing the cycle brethren every part of the lion is a lion the finger of the lion is a lion the tail of the lion is a lion you touch the tail the lion roar you touch the finger the lion roar you touch the stomach the lion roar when your head become a lionic head every part of your body become the head am i helping somebody here am i helping somebody here 
<laughs> Stand up. Say my head. Stand back. Yeah. Yeah. How can you carry any hair comb to comb your head? Any hair comb. Seven people are using the same comb you are using. You don't have honor for your head. You can't buy ordinary comb, comb for your head. Are <laughs> they talk? Are they talk? Even when you they rub for your head, you get what it happen. You are robbing shakamania. You are robbing palm oil on top of your head. See now the one I get with that one. You don't have honor for the head. I'm telling you something. You might think it doesn't matter. It matters. It matters. It matters. It ma am I am I talking here? Am I talking to somebody here? You need to pay attention to this one. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, attention whenever your body you are feeling headache your head is telling you something is wrong your head is the prophet of your life hear this one your head is the prophet of your life anytime something is wrong and you begin to feel heavy with your head your head is telling you that this is getting beyond me slow down go and check what is wrong is not a sickness it's a symptom that the head is reporting to you that something is wrong with one of the organs is controlling hear this headache is not a sickness it's a symptom and a prophetic signal the head is telling you one organ of the body is malfunctioning check it and change the spare part if not we'll go pack up Can I help? See, oh, see, oh, see, oh. You are, you are about to pray now. You see that? What those of you without water will tell you what to do. <laughs> this one, I've not finished because it's too, it's too heavy. I've not finished. I've not finished. Can you stand up? Can you stand up? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are, are you ready? Are you ready? Do not just carry any house soap, they wash your head. You are using Sabulu solo. Sabulu solo. That one I used to cut the finger. You can even chop your cloth and chop it and chop it and chop it down. That's what you are using on your head. Something is wrong. Are you ready? I, I, am, I, am I helping somebody here? Even the container you used to fetch the water on your head. Look at how the container, the phone guys are forming all about. You are disrespecting the head. No, I, I'm saying this thing looks like it's funny, isn't it, Abby? But I'm telling you something very sensitive. In the other religion where I come from, we take every part of the body very important when you are doing the evolution. It is very important that you have to be you have to appear neat before you even talk to God. Because treating your body is very important. Go to the book of Nehemiah. You will see it there. The Jews do the same prayer. That's a teaching for another day. Are you ready? Are you ready? I, I, I say, are you ready? Are you ready? Say, my head. My head. My destiny. My destiny. My head. My head. Today. Receive repair. Receive repair. Open your mouth.